Hello, my friends. How are you today? I am here in my patio, one of my other uh, favorite spot spaces in our home. Um, starting to cool down here in Vegas. It is currently 82. Not totally cool, but <laughs> but I thought ah, it's nice enough to come outside. I have my fan on out here, so it keeps a little cooler underneath here. Um, today I will be offering you a deep stretch uh, yin practice for the really focusing on the quads, but also uh, the hips and some other parts of the legs. Um, I'll be incorporating some blocks today. So you, if you have those or any other props that you like to bring into your practice, um, go grab those. And um, we will get started on our bellies coming into a quad stretch right away. So just make your way down onto your belly here. Just move my blocks out of the way. Good. And then let's bring the left forearm in front and you're gonna reach back with that right hand for your right foot and then rest your head here on your hand or your forearm. And now doing your best to let that right shoulder just sink towards the earth, towards the mat. And then you want to align, make sure that your heel is over your glute, so not over by the hip, but right, stacked over the glute. Good. And then just take a gentle press down through the pelvic floor, or excuse me, pubic bone, pressing that to the earth, and tuck the tailbone towards the back end of your mat. You'll feel that little quad, get a little deeper stretch there. And then taking a big breath in, breathe into your belly. And let's start off with a cleansing breath here. Open mouth, exhale. Releasing really any clenching or squeezing in the glutes. Slowing your breath down, breathing in and out through the nose. Today is trash day, so you may hear the trucks in the background. Just take a check in with your upper body, especially through the upper back, shoulders and neck. Notice if the body is kind of trying to hold itself up and just allow the body to decompress here. Sink down. Releasing any tension, any gripping.
Let's take one more breath here. Big breath in. Send the breath all the way to the belly, the low back. Open mouth, exhale. And ever so slowly releasing the foot and lowering that leg down nice and slow. And you can just stack your right hand on top of the left. Rest the forehead here. And the shimmy your hips. Rock the hips side to side. And let's just take a pause here. One full breath. Big breath in. Big breath out. And then we'll switch to the other side. So right forearm to the top of the mat. Left hand reaches back. Stacking that left heel over the left glute. And pressing down through the hip. The hip bones and feeling that tailbone tucked towards the bottom end of the mat. Softening that left shoulder. Having a little micro bend in that left elbow. And just pausing here, breathing here. Feeling into all the sensations that you feel here. If your quads are really tight, you may even feel this down around the knee. Let's take one more breath here. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. And releasing that left leg down. Stacking the left hand on top of the right. Pausing here, breathing here. And again, we can rock the hips side to side. And taking one full breath. Open up, exhale. Beautiful. And then let's bring the palms of the hands underneath the shoulders and pressing yourself back into a wide-legged child's pose. So big toes touch, widen the knees, send those hips all the way back, reaching the arms forward. Maybe you use a block underneath the head or the chest, whatever may feel good for you here. 
Lowering the forehead or one cheek to the mat. Really letting those hips just sink towards the heels, getting this nice big opening back stretch here. Soften the belly, relax the arms. And if this is a little bit too much in the shoulders for you, having the arms extended, you can bend the elbow slightly, kind of slide the hands in towards you, and then bringing the index and the thumb tips to touch, creating this little diamond. Palms flat to your mat. And you're softening here. Let's take three more breaths here. And last breath, big breath in. Big breath out. Slide the hands back in toward you. Press yourself up. Let's come into a tabletop. I'm just taking a few rounds of cat and cow here. So first having your foundation, shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees. Untuck your toes. So tops of the feet are flat to your mat. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Take your inhale, drop the belly, tailbone up towards the sky. Looking forward, heart forward, and then exhale, pressing into cat, belly button to spine, chin to chest, tuck tailbone down. Good, inhale into your cow. Exhale, cat. Two more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cow. Beautiful. Coming into your tabletop, let's just stretch the calves and the feet. Extend your right leg all the way back. Tuck the toes under, press through that heel. Good. Nice and strong in the upper body here. And then bring that right knee down, extend that left leg all the way back. Same thing, tuck through the toes, press through the heel. And left knee back to the mat. And now let's just lift the feet and rotate through the ankles, point the flex the feet. Making some movements here. 
Nice. And we'll make our way into a seated position. So you can either cross the ankles and roll yourself over or just swing the legs out to one side. Good. And from here, we'll make our way into deer pose. So we'll start with the left leg uh, in front and right leg out to the side. So you want your left leg, your shin parallel to the top of your mat and your right leg the shin parallel to the long edge of your mat and doing your best to have the knees aligned with the hips so notice if the knee is really high up here if you can open up a little bit more because again we're looking to get into the quad here give a little flex in the feet and then bring those hands back behind you and think of externally rotating that right hip kind of sending that glute to the to your mat or to the earth good and then we're just going to pause here Breathe here. And we'll take 10 breaths here. Doing your best to release any clenching going on in that right glute. And a little bit of a chest opener here. So just draw those shoulders back. Kind of take some weight off of the neck and shoulders. Breathing into the belly. Relaxing your jaw, your facial muscles. I'm taking one more breath here. And then just walking your upper body up. And then from here, we're going to come into a fold over that left leg. So maybe you bring the left leg just a little more closer, more into you. <laughs> Good. And then just walking yourself forward here. You can use your blocks. Maybe resting the forehead here, softening the arms. Release the glutes, release the legs. You can release the flex in the feet. Just taking some nice, slow, deep breaths. So targeting the hips, quads. And wherever else you may feel this in your body. Softening the jaw.
Let's take one more breath here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Slowly bringing the upper body back up and bring all your weight over onto that left hip. Swing that right leg out. Just extend both legs out in front. Let's give them a little wiggle, a little shake before we go into our deer pose on the other side. I have to say it is really pleasant out here right now. I've got a light breeze going on and I don't know if you can hear the wind chimes slightly. I just have like a biplane uh, coming over, which it's just very nice. I have to do some more recordings out here. All right, my friend, let's come into deer pose on the other side. So right leg in front, bringing that left leg back behind you. Again, doing your best to line the hips, excuse me, the knees up with your hips. Good. And then bringing those hands back behind you. Mm -hmm. Externally rotating that left hip. Ooh, I definitely feel the side is tighter on me. Oh, that's a deep breathing. <laughs> Soften in the shoulders, open up the chest by gently drawing the shoulders back. Ten breaths here. One more breath, big breath in, big breath out. Good, walking yourself up. And my hands went a little numb on that one. I don't know about you. Let's just take some wrist rotations here. And then just open and close the hands, bring some energy back into them, a little blood flow. Good. All right, then we'll come into our forward fold here. So again, you can just bring that right foot a little closer into you, just like you would in your pigeon pose. And then bringing yourself right over that right leg and making your way into your fold here, either using blocks or just coming straight down. Relax the glutes, the jaw, the neck, and shoulders.
last breath here. Big breath in. Big breath out. Coming up out of this pose very carefully. Shifting over to that right hip, swing that left leg out in front along with the right, wiggle the legs out. Good. Mm. All right, our next pose will be a variation of fish pose and half uh, saddle. So we'll be using our blocks here. So you can bring the blocks to the back of your mat as so. And then, of course, once you come to recline on the blocks, you'll probably readjust them, especially the one for your head. And we are going to start with the right leg. So you're going to bend that right knee and bring your heel to the outside of that right hip. You're trying to have the top of your foot down and the knee aligned with the hip as much as you can. So we don't want it super wide out, but holding it in there. Good. And then you're going to lower yourself on down. Oh, let me give a little another little cue first so you can lift your hips up slightly and then tuck your tailbone towards the bottom end of your mat and then lower the hips back down and then come to recline back so you want that first block as you come back in between the shoulder blades and then finding the placement where best supports your head here with this other block good and now you might like to start out because this is a pretty deep uh, pose. So you might like to start out having that left knee bent uh, with your left foot to the floor and you kind of walk it out and find your support here. Um, I did this the other day. I had the knee bent for a few breaths and then extended the leg all the way out and that felt really good. So yogi's choice though of course. Just get yourself comfortable and if you are have healthy shoulders and it feels okay to extend the arms back, you have that option as well to really open up the chest here. I typically just hold here for a few breaths and then just bring the arms down to the side of my body just because I do have some sensitivity in my shoulders. So actually they're already a little irritated so I'm just going to bring my arms down, palms facing up. And relaxing all of the facial muscles, your jaw, your neck, Kind of wiggle those shoulder blades away from one another and finding a place where those shoulder blades kind of rest on the outside of each side of the block release any gripping maybe going on in the low back the glutes the hips And this is a pretty deep pose, deep stretch. So if it gets to be a little bit too much for you, you can bring yourself back up and then maybe come back into it. Or you can come back into the deer pose. If your left leg is extended, just let the foot kind of fall out to the side. So not trying to hold the foot in a certain position. Again, in our yin practice, we're doing our best to let the muscles relax. So we are able to get into all of the tissues, the ligaments, the joints.
Taking a full breath in here. Let's take an open mouth exhale. And if your arms were extended back behind you, just bring them to the side of your body. We will bring our hands to the mat. I kind of like to bring my right hand to the bottom of my right foot and press ourselves up. Lift the head up first and press yourself all the way up. Shift onto that left hip, swing that right leg around. Oof. Give it a little wiggle, a little shake. And then we'll make our way to the other side. So bringing that left foot to the side of that left hip, making that little shift in your hips. So lift the hips, tuck the tailbone, lower the hips back down. Finding that sweet spot for the blocks where you feel completely supported and as comfortable as it can get. I always find like after being here a few breaths, the back kind of just melts into the blocks. I hope you experience that as well. Good. And again, finding a placement for the arms. And maybe you start out with that right knee bent, foot to the mat. And always remembering that one side of the body may feel completely and totally different in the pose compared to the other. Just working with it. And just bring a thought to mind. Where in your body do you typically hold your tension? And just tuning into that area right now. Noticing there's tension there now. If there is, doing your best to let that go. So just a practice of being in tune to your body.
We'll take three more breaths on this side. Cleansing breath, big breath in through the nose, fill up your belly. Open mouth, exhale. Good, again, if the arms were back behind you, glide them to the sides of your body. And we'll use our hands to support pressing ourselves up. Ooh. Shifting onto that right hip, swing that left leg out, give the legs a little wiggle. And you can move your blocks off of your mat. Good, and from here, we'll make our way down onto our backs. And once you get here, bring the knees into the chest, take a few rocks side to side. Mm -hmm. And let's send the legs all the way up. So feet towards the ceiling or the sky, holding on to the backs of your thighs. Just point and flex your feet. Rotate through the ankles. Beautiful. Bend the knees, lower your feet to your mat. We'll take one more um, quad stretch here on each side of the legs. So you're just going to thread your right foot underneath that left leg. Your left foot stays to the mat. You're gonna grab on to that right foot with your left hand, and then you're just gonna let that leg relax. So knee towards the floor. Good, and now you can either have your right hand on your belly, you can bring it out to a T, or maybe you reach it all the way back behind you for a nice um, kind of side front body stretch here. Soften in the shoulder if you extend that arm back behind you. And just like all the other poses, really focusing on allowing the glutes to unclench. Noticing the difference when you do that. Kind of releases the hip girdle, the pelvic floor, and allows that quad to get a little deeper stretch. Relaxing your jaw and facial muscles.
Taking a big, full breath in. And a big open mouth exhale. Release that right foot and bring your left hand to that, excuse me, your right hand to your right thigh. Hug that right knee in and then let's hug the left knee in as well, taking a few rocks side to side. And then we'll make our way to the other side. So right foot's planted to your mat, left leg is going to thread underneath holding on to the left foot with that right hand, finding your placement for your left arm, whatever feels good for you here. Mm -hmm. Right away, letting those glutes release. Softening even in the arms and the shoulders. Tuck your chin in slightly towards your chest to elongate the cervical spine. Coming back to that tension spot in your body. Noticing if it's holding again and if you can let that go. Taking three more breaths here. Cleansing breath. Releasing that left foot, left arm comes down and bringing the left knee in and then the right. Take the knees nice and wide here as you gently rock side to side. And let's lower our feet back to our mat. Keep the feet wide. 
And then we'll take a little windshield wiper side to side, just to release the low back, release the hips, the legs. Coming to center, extend the legs all the way out, making your way into your Shavasana here. Mm -hmm. Wiggle those shoulder blades away from one another and down away from the ears. And open up your, your feet. So let your feet come out to the corners of your mat and just let those feet fall out to the side. Mm, take a cleansing breath. giving yourself permission to take full advantage of this Shavasana time. Our Shavasana gives uh, the body the opportunity to receive all of the work that you just did. So letting everything, every breath that you took in and every breath that you took out in the form of cleansing and moving anything stagnant or sticky in the body, moving that out or around. You know, just letting the body receive all of the goodness of that. Letting it integrate. And I welcome you to stay here as long as it feels good for you. I would really like to just stay here. It feels so good. Slight breeze just blowing over my skin and body. It feels so great. But I will bring our practice to a close. So let's take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Beautiful. Bring some movement back into your body. Wiggle the fingers, the toes, the wrists, the ankles. Gently rocking your head side to side. Reach the arms back behind you. Bring the feet in together. Point through the toes. Extend through the fingers. Inhale. And then exhale, bringing everything into a little ball. Just keep your head rested on your mat. Hug the knees in. Mm, big squeeze. Open up that low back. Rock a few times side to side. Good. And then rolling over to one side, pausing here, resting your head on that bottom arm and bicep. One more breath here. And then let's all meet in a easy seated pose. Mm-hmm. <sighs>
palms and the hands together at the heart, taking a big breath in, big breath out. Hmm. And just noticing the effects from your practice. Thank you so much for choosing to practice with me today. I hope you truly feel wonderful and great and the quads and the legs got a nice deep stretch and just what they needed. And as always, I hope you leave feeling completely and totally zen within. From my heart to yours, may you have so much peace in your body, peace in your mind, peace in your life and peace in your heart. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you, my friend. If you enjoyed this practice, give it a thumbs, a like. Um, you can always leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I will see you next time. Peace and love.